A Waters World investigation, Nancy Pelosi's policies are making it harder and harder for average Americans to accumulate wealth. Shackling us with taxes, destroying the dollar with reckless spending, but the speaker who makes in the low six figures has somehow very easily become one of the richest members of Congress. What's her secret? It appears to be her husband, Paul. After they got married, Paul opened up a real estate and venture capital firm. And through his connections, he pushed Nancy into the political world, helping her get elected to Congress in 1987. The couple has timed the market perfectly over the years while Nancy's been a Washington insider. Real estate, stocks, the Pelosi's always know what the right investment is. Since getting married, they've acquired a mansion in Napa Valley, a vineyard home worth up to $25 million, real luxury, it's on 16 acres. Pelosi has a gorgeous waterfront condo in the exclusive K Street region in D.C., now worth over two mil. She has a multi-million dollar red brick mansion in California's Pacific Heights. And Paul owns at least two commercial properties in San Francisco combined worth up to $50 million. Since regaining the gavel in 2018, the Pelosi's wealth has skyrocketed. That year, her financial disclosure report revealed a net worth of over $114 million. Then, in 2019, Pelosi's assets totaled up to a whopping $271 million. And in 2020, those numbers went up even more, to as high as $315 million. Bucks. Quite a lot of crumbs. So where's the money coming from? 60 Minutes basically accused Paul Pelosi of insider trading. Madam Leader, um, I wanted to ask you why you and your husband, back in March of 2008, um, accepted and participated in a very large IPO deal from Visa. At a time, there was major uh, legislation affecting their credit card companies making its way through the, um, through the House. And well, did you consider that to be a conflict of interest? The, yeah, I, I don't know what your point is of your question. Is there some point that you want to make with that? Well, I, I guess what I'm asking is, do you think it's all right for uh, a speaker? Uh, to accept uh, a very preferential and favorable uh, stock deal. Well, we did. You participated in the IPO. Well, I have many And at the time, you were Speaker of the House. You don't that. think it was a conflict of interest or had the appearance no, of a conflict not, of interest? No, it doesn't. It only has the appearance if you decide that you're going to have a, a, a elaborate on a false premise. But it, it, it's not true, and that's that. I don't understand what part's yeah. not true. Yes, sir. Um, that I, that I would you. act upon an investment. In 2007, Visa worried the new Democrat Congress would target their swipe fees, costing them billions. So they hired a team of lobbyists who descended on Pelosi. Visa's CEO personally met with her. She got donations from him. One of Nancy's advisors left and became a Visa lobbyist himself, the old inside-outside game. Now get this. Suddenly, Paul Pelosi got a phone call from his broker. He was in luck. Paul was offered a pre-screened invite to get in early on Visa's $18 billion IPO. Did Nancy and her husband hesitate? No. They bought between $1 million and $5 million worth of Visa stock. But it gets better. While Pelosi was Speaker, bills that would have hurt Visa's stock price were blocked in the House. Visa shares going up over 200% during the time, making the Pelosi's a fortune on paper. Nancy Pelosi and her husband have a knack for taking advantage of market timing. In March, Paul Pelosi exercised $2 million worth of Microsoft options just two weeks before the tech giant got a $22 billion contract to equip the U.S. Army with high-tech headsets. In January, the Pelosi's got a $1 million worth of Tesla stock right before Joe Biden announced electric car incentives. In June, the Pelosi family cashed in big time just before Congress was set to pounce on big tech. Mr. Pelosi exercised options on Google's parent company, Alphabet, making an easy 5.3 mil. Now, to be fair, the Pelosi's have never been indicted for insider trading, but her marriage, investments, and access, combined with extremely fortunate timing, have created a lot of suspicions. All we're doing is following the money, and there sure is a lot of it. Joining me now for more on this, president of the Government Accountability Institute and the Drill Down podcast host, Peter Schweitzer. 
All right, we put it together for you there, Peter. What is your reaction? You know better than anybody how this whole thing works. Yeah, no, I, I think you're dead on. Look, the bottom line, Jesse, is we don't mind if people make money with investments. The question is, is it wedded to your political power? And in the case of the Pelosi's, they not only got that Visa IPO stock, they've participated in at least 10 IPO uh, stocks. And these are unusual. These basically go to company founders and insiders. The fact that a politician's family is allowed to participate in an investment that when it goes public, generally really doubles in value often is, is a real indicator that there's a problem. I'll add one other thing, Jesse. Those uh, office buildings you mentioned, they own an office building on Belden Street in San Francisco. Nancy Pelosi steered $200 million in federal money to build the Third Avenue light railway system in San Francisco. Mm. Guess where one of the stops of that light railway system actually stops? Within two blocks of their office building. Building. That matters because there's something called the transit premium. If your building is within two blocks of a subway or railway stop, it effectively doubles the value of it. Oh. And that's precisely what happened to the Pelosi's real estate. That's very interesting. Also interesting, they've been offered 10 IPO buy-ins. So it's just randomly that these companies give the Pelosi family <laughs> Early access to IPOs. Unbelievably fortunate people, Nancy and Paul. All right, Peter, yeah. thank you for following the money with us. You're good. Thanks for having me. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.